Are you looking to move to Orlando, Florida? Well, guess what? There are six costs of living that you probably do not expect when you're moving here. I know when I moved here, it completely caught me off guard and I was not expecting to deal with the costs that I had to and really had to realize that, hey, there are hidden costs to living here that most people do not know. And I wanted to tell you in this video, what are the big things that caught me off guard? Now, not all of them are bad. Some are good, but you definitely want to stick to the end because you're going to hear the number one thing that can completely destroy your home plan when it comes to moving to Orlando. So getting straight into the cost of living, obviously Orlando and Florida in general is not the cheapest place it used to be. There are a lot of hidden costs that people just aren't aware of when it comes to living here. And honestly, if you look at like even a couple years ago, right, the whole country is as expensive and Florida really hits people and especially in Orlando pretty hard when they kind of move here and they always reaching out to us because guess what? It's not as cheap as it used to be and there are things that you just cannot expect. And by the way, if it's your first time coming to the channel, we are always dropping information to you when it comes to moving and relocating here to Orlando, Florida from obviously people who are specialists in this. You hit like and subscribe, be notified every time we drop a new video. So getting straight into it. The first thing that I did not fully expect. Now keep in mind, I grew up in New York State in Attica, right? So we always had interstates where we had to pay tolls, but the toll roads are one of the things that just caught me off guard because living on the West Coast, being in the military before coming here, I almost forgot what it was like having to take toll roads. Now you do not have to take the toll roads, but I can promise you it is a a convenience tax like you just do not realize how many times that it's convenient in order to take these in order to save you time now it might not be a lot it might be a couple bucks here you know a couple bucks there obviously it can add up especially if you're having to take them for work but I will tell you that if you know, if you're trying to avoid them you're definitely gonna be hitting traffic even more than it already is crazy traffic here in Orlando but if you're coming from somewhere that doesn't really have toll roads that are heavy it's gonna catch you off guard, especially if you're coming from the West Coast states where they really don't have them all too much. You're not gonna be weird. And obviously if you're like me and you grew up in the East Coast, you're like, yeah, there are, you know, everywhere you live, there's usually some kind of toll road if you're along coastal states. So it's something that you're kind of used to. But keep in mind, you know, that is something you will have to deal with it. That, hey, if you wanna shave sometimes 20 minutes off your drive time, you're gonna be taking toll roads. So be in mind, that is something that you're just gonna to have to get used to when it comes to moving to Orlando. And you also obviously can, you can get like, I think it's called Sun Pass. It's just this little pass that sticks to your top and you can have it charge your card or whatever and it can refill automatically. So there are things that make it convenient. Um, I can tell you there are some times where it might take me an hour to go somewhere, but if I take a toll road, it might shave it down to 40, 45 minutes. Which might only seem like 15 minutes, but if you're like me and you're super busy and you just wanna get home, hey, it can help a lot, especially when you got screaming kids in the back, right? The next one, the whole kind of is relevant in the whole country, but coming from the West Coast, it was like the deals just aren't that far and far and free between here, and that is the cost of meat. So if you're like me and you like your meat, because it's just how you are, guess what? There's just there's not many deals here. Now they do exist and I do see sales from time to time, but to be honest with you, the average cut of like red meat is like $12.99 a pound. Now there are deals you can get uncut like ribeye roasts for $6.99 a pound and things like that. But man, like obviously the whole country is expensive with everything anymore, to be honest with you. But I can tell you here in Florida, I don't see many meat deals like I did. Like you could find crazy 99 cents a pound still in like California, which is crazy for that state, right? And you know, I've been going through Texas and Mississippi. They can have some solid deals if you know where to go. Here in Florida, I don't know, maybe it's just me. I don't shop at Publix and stuff. Like we go to a lot of different stores to shop deals for our family because it's like a family of five here. But I can tell you, like it definitely threw me off guard with like, I don't know, I don't see deals that much for me. Now maybe, obviously I've you know, been here a little bit now. Maybe Maybe it is like that in other places. I'd love to know in the comments below if you've gone through that, but hey, it's something that we ran into and it's just kind of annoying. You know, having, especially having a big family, I like my steak occasionally and I might be having chicken more than steak now because of that cost, especially having a house full of boys. Oh my God, they eat me out of house and home. So it brings up a good solid point that if you are worried about the cost of living and you're looking to move out here, obviously you can give us a call and text the number down below. We specialize, obviously, you know, most of our team being veterans or people that have relocated a lot in our lives, we help people like yourselves relocate and reduce the stress as much as possible when it comes to Orlando, Florida. So you can give us a call, text, email, whatever you need, especially when it comes to real estate decisions, being licensed real estate agents with XP Realty here in Orlando, we're here to help you make that decision. Like obviously relocating is hard enough, let us help you do what we do best, getting you out here, getting you set up, and you just have to worry about the job, the kids, and making sure things are as comfortable as possible. So reach out to us. I love to talk to you every single day. People are always reaching out to us, and I love it. Now, but yeah, getting back to the meat thing, it's, it's not 
cheap and it's annoying. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like the, like I said, I see meat, I'm like twelve ninety nine a pound, twelve ninety nine a pound. When I see six ninety nine a pound, I'm like, oh, deal, sweet. I'll cut it myself. I don't care. I don't know. I, th this day and age, I'm about to just find a couple people, a couple families, and split a whole cow. You know what I mean? That's kind of where we're at here in America. At least I'll know where the cow is raised and fed, right? Now, heading to the next cost of living. Now, it's not the worst, right? Like places like California, you know, Oregon, like the, the cost can be different, but that's electricity. Keep in mind, it's not so much that the cost per kilowatt hour is expensive. It's that here in Florida, like right today, it's a beautiful, like 64 degrees outside, right? I'm not really using anything. But most of the year, I'll say almost all the year, you're using your AC nonstop all the time. And most homes here are going to be all electric. They're not going to have gas and things like that. So guess what? If you don't have solar on your home and stuff like that, you're paying decent. Now, so to give you an example, for a three-bed, two-bath house that is about 2,100 square feet, single story, our electric bill with a family of five is about, our peak month is like $350 approximately. That's no solar, that's just straight electric costs, having electric water heater, you know, stove, AC, that's lights, that's as raw as it can get for electric bill, it's about 350 per month. Now during the dead of winter, we drop down to like mid to low 200s. So, and that's because we, obviously apparently just don't use as much AC during that time, clearly. But keep in mind, that is a big cost a lot of people maybe aren't prepared for. Because maybe, you know, you might be coming from a state to where, you know, it's a little more north. It might be more expensive per kilowatt hour. But, you know, it's not, I'm not going to say it's the cheapest here by any means. But keep in mind is that you do have those costs that rise up on you. And water's not too bad here. But again, you got to plan for it. That, that cost, if you're not used to having it that high, like I said, it might, it's not so much the per kilowatt hour, it's the fact that you're using it 24 seven. And so if, that, if you're a person like me and you're always hot, hey, guess what? <laughs> that bill's gonna come due and you gotta be prepared for it. Cause guess what? They will shut you off immediately if you do get past that grace period. Do not differentiate. I remember when we first moved here and I had a rental, right? We switched everything over and there was like a bill issue with the prior tenant and all this stuff. And like we just woke up one day, even though we did everything we were supposed to and we had no power. It was great. Yeah, it was a good experience. So realize that guess what? That bill will become due. So make sure you're prepared for it. Obviously the smaller the home that you can get, the more you can probably save on money. But hey, don't forget, there are a lot of times you can run into homes that have solar on them. And you can save money that way. So keep in mind, there's a thousand ways to make this work, make it better. You just gotta plan ahead and you gotta make the right decision, which is why you can reach out to us because hey, we can help you through that process. Okay, this fourth thing I'm gonna bring up when it comes to cost of living is furniture. Now, obviously going to like the furniture stores is expensive anywhere in the country. What I'm gonna talk about is the fact that I haven't lived somewhere in a long time that just has the opportunity to just save on furniture that I've ever seen. Maybe I'm just lucky. Maybe God is just shining his light for my family when we moved here and when we just need furniture. Whatever it is, I don't know. But I can tell you there are powers at play here in Florida for the reason that, well, I found some amazing furniture. I mean, especially around the Disney area. There's always certain thrift shops that get the old furniture from like Disney hotels and stuff like that. That's just solid furniture because it's in hotels, right? It should be able to be that way. I mean, we have, I mean, I got bed, a bunk bed, all this stuff for like a couple hundred dollars here and there. Like, and it's just, it's insane the solid furniture you can get for a fair price. Now, if you're someone who needs new furniture all the time, God bless you. I, you know, power to you. But for me, we live on a budget as much as possible to live within our means. And hey, there are solid thrift stores around this whole area of Central Florida for you to find great furniture deals. Hey, just take a drive through these new construction communities sometime. These amazing, friendly people just give away, like, I found my, my wife's like, oh, I really need a new swivel office chair. I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah, you know, typical husband. Oh, I'll get to it, I'll get to it, I'll get to it. Coming back from the pool one day with my boys, Someone just put out in the trash, like a slightly seat stained, or not even, like, it looked like, like soda or something. Not even, it was even, I don't even know if it was really stained. It might have actually been when we brought it home. But regardless, it was like brand new. $150 Staples chair, I confirmed it. That they just left out in the trash to be taken, like in the bin to be taken away. And I just brought it home, right? Like I never thought I'd be that guy, but I'm, in this day and age with how expensive things are, I was like, why not? perfectly good chair nothing's broken on it like i said i don't even think it was stained i think that came really that day when we brought with the kids because they're young and they make messes but i mean there are like even on when we uh, came into the community there's so many facebook groups here even reaching out i mean we got 
a giant dining room table set, like for eight people with chairs for free. Like the family was just giving it away. Super amazing South African couple. I don't know, they came here years ago, but they just didn't want it. They wanted to get rid of it. And I got it for free. We ended up, it ended up being too big for our house. So we gave it away for free too. So realize there are so many opportunities of furnishing your home here that you do like, if everything else is expensive, I promise you, if you can look for the deals, they are here with furniture and that blew me away. Like I, I couldn't be happier when it comes to that part of moving here. It was awesome experience. And I always help our clients try and find those deals just as much. All right, the fifth one, car insurance. Look, California to here with two cars, we went up $600 every policy period. And that's one of the things, it was so expensive for car insurance. It is just, there's so many uninsured drivers, it's crazy. So if you're making the move here, understand car insurance is gonna blow you out of the water. It, it's different for everyone, shop your providers, but guess what? If you're coming from a different state, middle of nowhere, it's gonna hit you hard, be aware of that. It, it's gonna drive you insane. Um, and But once you drive here, you'll understand why it's expensive, because people are crazy. <laughs> All right, and the final cost, the sixth cost is home insurance. So understand if the home's old, if the roof hasn't been replaced in a while, Providers are always disappearing. We've all seen the horror stories and it is completely true. If you're going to buy a home, be prepared to get ready. Like even when we're going looking at homes, I always say, contact your insurance provider. Get them on the bill now so we can find out before we close what that insurance is gonna be. Because it is not cheap. You have to make sure you have a good provider. It is something that, look, it'll catch you off guard. Like the home might seem nice. Roof it hasn't been replaced in 20 years. Insane insurance cost. When you go to buy homes, that's why we are so good at this relocation stuff because you don't know, but you might want to do a wind mitigation to make sure you can try and lower your insurance costs when it comes to going through the inspection process on the home. You want to do all these things to make sure you are prepared. And those are the six costs, unexpected costs of living that definitely caught me off guard when moving here. If you are looking to get help when it comes to relocating, this number down below is how you can get a hold of me. Call, text, email, it does not matter. We are here to help you. Relocation is what we do. So if you're looking to get help, relocate to Orlando, give me a call. I am looking forward to it, especially heading into this year. And hope you like this video. Look forward to seeing you in the next one.